Statistics. Cumulative frequency curves. You will find this on page 682 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Cumulative frequency curves. If we draw the graph of a cumulative frequency distribution using the data recorded in a cumulative frequency table, then we obtain a smooth curve called a cumulative frequency curve or OGIF. The following table shows the length of 80 nails produced by a machine. This is the example. There is the data. Construct a cumulative frequency table for the data. Now, if we construct the cumulative frequency, we are always taking the end values. But just for the beginning, take that first value also, the first one in the range. So just to start at zero. So if we say smaller than equal 30, can you see? We took this one. There is the 30. Then smaller than equal to 32. Smaller than equal to 34, smaller than equal to 36, smaller than equal to 38, smaller than equal to 40, smaller than equal to 42. Now, there was nothing, so that's why it was starting with zero. So at 32, it was 5. Just get another color. It was that 5, there at 32. Now, we add that 16 and we get 21. Then this 21, we add that 21 and we get 42. Then this 42, we add that 18 and we get 60. And then this 60, we add that 12 and we get 72. And then this 72, we add that 8 and we get 80. You can also just add up to there and write 21. Add up to there, write 42, but that's the longer way to follow. Okay. We plot the cumulative frequencies against the upper end points of the classes and join the points with a smooth curve. Okay, that's what we did. Now, let's start. And I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so that you can follow on that scales. We can do it first. So, first, let's just look at the question. Draw a cumulative frequency curve. Now, if they don't give you the scale, you just create your own scale. So, because it starts at 30, just break the scale and then starts at 30. And then just make five, okay, this is counting five. So, every two centimeter is five length millimeters. So, basically, I just continue. And this one, I can just go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Now, if I just notice the scale, so every two blocks will count one. Let's just do that. So that will be 31, can you see? And up to there will be 32, 33, 34, 35. And if you look there, now remember 10 divided by 5, so it's 2. So that's count 2, 4, 6, 18. So just make sure that you, you know how your scales are working before you start with the plotting. Now remember, this is your coordinate point that you're going to plot. I'm just going to make it a bit clear that you can see it nicely. Okay, so the first one I plot, it's at 30, it's going to be 0, just to start, start the curve. Then 5, which is in the middle of that block, it's going to be 32. So 31, 32. Can you see? There, there's going to be. Let's just make a dot. There it's going to be. Then the next one, it's going to be 34. So let's, can you see? 34, 34. And it's going to be 21. Now that's actually in the middle of that block, so it's going to be there. And then the next one, it's going to be 30, let's just see, 36. So there's 35, there's 36, go up, up, up. And it's going to be 42. Can you remember the first block there? 42, so there it will be. Then the next one, 38. Can you see? There's now 36, 37, 38, that's correct, it's that line, and 60. There it's going to be. 
and then it's going to be 40 and it's going to be 72 it's going to be there and then the next one it's going to be 42 okay we already have that one um, let's just see 42 so it's going to be 41 42 going up 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 80 okay and then don't do it with a ruler do it freehand so basically just concentrate go and it's almost like a stretch out s okay don't go beyond that point the curve must not go beyond 80 stop there okay so that's your curve now we're going to use it why did we draw it to use it so estimate the percentage of nails which are longer than 39 millimeter so longer than 39 meter, millimeter, so where is 39? Can you see there is 39? So you can read it, but now be careful, longer, not shorter, longer. So it's that part. So basically I must take, you just see what I did? I take the 80 and I subtract, what was that, 2, 4, 6, subtract the 66. So that part is going to be 14. Okay, and then they ask, um, let's just see, longer than 30, do they ask it as a percentage? Estimate the percentage. So to make it a percentage, it's 14 out of the total 80, multiply 100%, and I will get 17.5%. That will be my final answer. Okay, you can stop the video and do try now 31 number 1. You're going to use craft paper, so make sure you have craft paper. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. The following table records the time taken by a technician to repair each of 200 laptops. Now, I'm just going to need that table again because we are going to do it on craft paper. But we can first just create the table here and then use the graph paper. So construct a frequency table. So let's just do that first. Okay, so um, if I'm going to do it like this, um, we're going to say the time and we're going to say the frequency. And we're just going to make use of, of a table format. Okay, and then we're just going to, we will now see how many groups are there. Okay, then we are going to start, remember with the first one. So we say smaller and equal to, just get the pen working. pin smaller and equal to 20 okay and that will be zero but if we say smaller and equal and now we take the end 30 that is going to be 24 and then if we smaller and equal 40 that I'm just going to add that 24 and the 56 and if I do that I'm going to get 80 and then smaller and equal to 50 then take that 80 and add the 40 and I'm going to get 120. And then smaller and equal, we were there, then 60. And then add the 35 and it's 155. And then smaller and equal to 70. Add the 27 and it's 182. And then smaller and equal to that 80. And it's going to be, and it must give you that total, that total of 200. Okay, now if I start with the graph, um, now I'm going to plot that point. Now just take note, I'm going to work now on graph paper, so it's going to be just working between the two. Make it a little bit bigger that we can see. So take your graph paper, and again, I'm just going to create a scale for me. So let's just see. If I take this, I'm just taking the line. Okay, let's start there. 
and let's start there. Okay, so if I take this and I start there at zero, okay, so there is zero. Um, I think I, we can work on, we can make it a bit bigger, but shorter. They didn't indicate to me, but it doesn't matter. So 20 in the exams, usually they will indicate it to you. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And this is the time, which is T minutes. And then this is the number of laptops. The cumulative frequency, but the number of laptops. But which is also the cumulative frequency. Okay, and then if I do this scale, we can make this 20. So I just want to see if I can make it a bit bigger to see the darker lines better. Yeah, now I'm see, seeing it better. So I'm just going to make this then. Um, if I look, this is going to be 40. Then this is going to be 80. And then this is going to be 120. And then this is going to be 160. And then this is going to be 200. Okay. And then if I look at this, I'm going to start plotting. Now let's just go back to the previous one, the previous page, to see our table. So 0 and 20. So 20, 30, okay, let's just see. Okay, so it was 20, okay, because I did it there 10, can I just show you? I actually were breaking the scale. Let's just do it rather in the blue, and in straight lines, and in the blue. So this scale was also break up a little bit. Okay, let's just indicate that to show that the scale was break. Okay, so basically the first one I'm going to plot is 0 and 20. So let's just see where will I plot. Oh, I wonder if the green will work. Okay, then the next one, it's 24 and 30. So 24, okay, now let's look 2, 4, so it's 20. Okay, let's just see 24 and 30. So this is 20. Okay, can I just show you this scale? So that means this block is 20 divided, so everyone is counting 4. 4, 8, 12, 16. So if it's going to be, it's in this case, it's going to be 24. So there's 20, 24, that's correct. And it's going to be it's going to be up to 30. So that one, and it's going to be up to 30. That one. Okay. And then the next one, okay, if you go back, you will see it's going to be 40 and 80. So there is the 80, and there is the 40. You can just go back to your previous page. And then the next one is going to be 50. Okay, so remember. If that is, that will be a, that will be a hundred there. But that one is going to be fifty and one twenty. So fifty, fifty and one twenty. And then the next one is going to be sixty and one five five. Now, can I just show you again? This is going to be one hundred and forty. So if I say 155, so this is, this is 144, 48, there is 52, 52, um, so this is 1, okay, let me just show you here, 
this is going to be because it's four it's counting four every time so it's one five six so if it's one five five is just below that just a little bit below and it's going to be up to 60 okay. and where is 60 let's just move this a bit there is the 60 and it's there it's going to be approximately there okay and then the next one is 70 and 182 so there's 160 let's find our scale again this is 160 and then I go up in 20 so this is 180 so if I say 182 now there is 184 so 182 is in the middle there 182 and it's up to 70 approximately there okay and then the next one is 280 oh it's so nice it's the final one 280 now I'm going to try my best to create this curve to you I think we rather take red it's a bit more difficult doing it with the technology Let's see if it's going to be easier from this side. Okay, I would have just say, I wish it was a bit more clear from that part. So let's just see if I can go there. Okay, so that is almost like a stretch out S. And then the next, let's just go, and what was the question after you draw the graph? Then they said, estimate the percentage of laptops which require more than 60 minutes. Okay? So, more than 60 minutes to be repaired. More, not less. Okay, so let's just go. More than 60 minutes. Now, here's my minutes. Can I just show you? It's actually going to be, okay, I just want to take again this pen. Okay, can you remember at 60, what was it at the previous one? At 60 it was 155. So actually they are meaning this. So luckily you can see it. So it was 155 at that dot. So if they say more than, and I'm just going to write it here now for you, number C. Okay, do it rather not on the graph. Um, I prefer that you do it on paper. So maybe I must also not do it on the graph. So let's just take it. So here is number C. So it will be 200 minus that. Now on my graph, it's better not to look on the table, but look on the graph. Now if you, it's on your graph, say for example 154, then write 154. But work exactly like it's shown on your graph. So say on my graph it's 154, I'm just going to say minus 154, or minus 155, or minus 156. Usually they give you a range. And it's 46 laptops. But very important, work on your graph and get, because in the examination, they will check if it's correctly from your graph and they will give a range for the answer.